that I finally reached that point at year where I've decided that I'm not growing any more plants indoors. And it is a little bit later than I'd normally do it. But the weather, as you know, has been a bit dicey for the last few weeks. And all we had indoors was those new peppers that we were growing. But we have been bringing them in and out on a daily basis so they get some natural sunlight and get used to changes in temperature. And that's called hardening off your plants. You've got to harden plants off if you're growing them indoors. You can't just bring them straight outside into your greenhouse or put them straight in ground because it would be way too much of a shock for them. And there's a very good chance you could lose your plants doing that. So you need to be bringing them out for a couple hours a day over about six to seven days and they'll get used to that change and then you'd be all right to bring them out and leave them out. That's what I'm doing today. Any plants that we've got indoors are now staying at greenhouse. And we can still offer them a bit of protection if we need to, with a bit of fleece or bubble wrap. But if we get any extreme drops in temperatures, like minus one, minus twos, obviously things like peppers are gonna really struggle. But we can just take them back indoors just for that night. But for now, they're staying in here. And that's a good thing because it shows that it is starting to get warmer. And it's been a very long time coming as well. So we've got one or two bits and bobs of things that we need to be doing today. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to a few people that's donated to this channel. Thank you very much for making those donations. And they're from Bookkeeping, Kathy Johnson and Jane Coppel. As I always say, the money's going straight back into this channel to help with costs towards compost seeds and trays. So it's very generous of you to make those donations and it's very much appreciated. It's also worth mentioning that if you think it's still a little bit too cold in your area and you've grown extra plants like we do, we always have ones that we use to test that weather. And I think the best one you can use to test your weather is cucumbers because one little bit of cold and they tend to fall over and die. So if you've got cucumbers in your greenhouse now, like we have, and they're doing perfectly all right, day and night, then obviously your temperatures are all right, but still keep your eye on that weather. We grew some peppers back in January and because they got tacked by aphids indoors and the light levels weren't very good, and also the temperatures are really cold at night because we can't afford to eat a room that we don't use. Those plants really suffered. And we reached a point where they looked like they'd almost gone. But at the tops of those little plants, there was just a little sign of fresh growth. So we cut all the leaves off those plants and just left that little top growth to see what had happened. And they are definitely trying to make a comeback. That's those plants now. And these basically look like they were completely dead. But that one had a little bit of top growth on. And you can see where we've took all those stems away. And now it's trying really hard to regrow. They started off something like this. Barely anything left of your plant. But they put that effort in and now we're starting to get plants like this and they're going to carry on going and the reason we took those away is because when you take any of your leaves away your plants put out little side shoots and then all the energy goes into those side shoots and that's what this is that's your plant trying really hard to survive so hopefully we'll get something out of these a bit later in season though, because they're very far behind. And you might remember we did some multi sown pots. We put them all in this flower pot holder. And we've got quite a bit of germination going off in there now. And we've got all sorts of things in there. We've got lettuce, different types of lettuce, like little gem and a heart in lettuce as well. We've got spinach and parsley. We've got some romaine lettuce as well, which we're looking forward to growing. Then we've got some Durham cabbage, all year round cauliflower, 
and a bit of extra calibres. Not that we need any calibres because we've got loads. But they've all germinated in this greenhouse over the last couple of weeks. We've now got those Cobra French beans starting to come through. Very slow to germinate these. But you can see that there's quite a lot coming up now. And we're also getting more germination from those market more outdoor cucumbers. And then next to them right there, melons, crimson sweets, all germinating on that bench. Which is another good reason to say, I think we can start and get everything out of house and bring it outdoors for the rest of the season now. And the latest thing that we're sown with these, and you can see we've got a couple the little seedlings trying to come through and these are some more peppers but they're the really long sweet peppers because the first plants we got didn't come out very good again because of those temperatures we have still got them but like the original peppers that we did they're struggling so i decided to sow some more seeds and these seeds have been sown in this little pot and we've put them indoors and they've not been on a heat map we've just left them to their own devices basically and we can see that they're actually germinating so they're staying out here as well now because we're getting quite a bit of sunshine through the day the temperatures are warm enough so at this stage if we've got things like that happening we can just bring them straight outside and then there's no need to add those plants off because they'll be used to the surroundings as they're growing but with every benefit comes a deficit and your deficit now is going to be watering i'm watering these plants at least once every two days because they're drying out so quickly and obviously if you've got seedlings in small cells they're going to dry out even quicker like these peas really good looking plants nice and healthy but because they're in such small cells they keep drying out really quick so what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to pop those outside we don't need peas in a greenhouse because they're cold hardy anyway but it's always useful to have some of these available these are compost trees I think you can get these from Wilco's but they're brilliant for bottom watering you can get a lot of trays of plants on those and we pop them outside on these benches put a little bit of water in about an inch or so and then stick everything in and bottom water it all in one go and apart from being a big time saver that means that there's no water getting splashed over the tops of your seedlings because if you wet all the tops of your seedlings by randomly watering them with an hose or a watering can and then that sun comes out in the afternoon and gets hot it's going to burn all the leaves of your plants so then you're setting your plants back again so we're going to set some of these up on that bench outside and then we'll go through what plants we've got in here that are actually quite cold hardy which are now ready to be moved outside and put in these trees ready to be watered when they need it and at the same time that's going to clear us space in here so we can sow more seeds for the more tender plants like cucumbers, tomatoes, aubergines and melons. Something definitely worth doing. And now we've moved all those plants down to that container garden, we've got loads of space on this one. So we can just pop everything on here. And we'll get loads of plants in here. And I'm leaving a little bit of room at front as well so when they've had plenty of water I can just take them out so they're not sat in it rotting those roots you definitely don't want your brassicas in greenhouse when it's getting hot Well worth doing that's all those cold hardy plants outdoors now and we can water those all in one go so now we've done that we've got loads of extra bench space so now we can start thinking about what else we want to sow because it's soon going to be may and we will be sowing more seeds through may 
and obviously we'll be doing a video dedicated just to sowing and growing through May. So we can all make sure we're getting the right things done at the right time. Obviously between now and May, we've still got little bits and bobs in there that we're going to be potting on. But we're staging all these plants at the moment. We took loads down to that container garden over this last few days, which has cleared space up on those benches. Now we're moving things out of here that are cold hardy onto the same bench and getting them ready for bottom watering when they need it. Clearing space in here to sow more seeds. By May, we're going to have quite a lot of plants. And we also need to stay on top of things like this because we can easily forget that we haven't done them. That's that broccoletta. And it took a while to get these to germinate, but these little plants have now got true leaves. So we need to get them out of here and just get them into their own container. And we don't want a lot of these plants. About six or so is going to be plenty. But the longer we leave them in there, the more tangled they're going to get. And once again, that's going to slow everything down. So I'm going to move these out of here, select the best plants, and then we can get them growing on. And that's another thing done before end of month. And because I only want about six plants, I'll put them in these cells. Because they're quite big cells, they'll do a lot of compost. And this won't take too long. You've probably seen me do this before, but we do get new subscribers joining all the time. So I like to make sure people can see what we do. And as I said, some of these have got nice little true leaves on them now. So we need to get these out. And I'm just going to take six out today. So we'll just carefully try and loosen these off. That's perfect. Loads of roots. And they are very tiny plants still. But obviously when we're doing this, we're also burying them plants a little bit deeper. So we've only just got those top leaves sticking out of that compost. And that's going to give us better plants in the long run. Quick and easy. Again, I'll take another one out, getting loads of roots with it. And we'll get that one in as well. And you can see just how deep I'm pushing these plants. And then I'm just tapping that compost down around so these leaves aren't sat on that compost as well. So basically just trying to get the biggest plants out of these. That one's a really good size one. So we'll have that as well. Nice big true leaf on that one. Right there. And then for the last one, I'll take that because that's also got a nice true leaf on it. And lots of roots. So I'll pop my label in, and that's that job done. And we've got six broccoletta plants now on the way. So another little job done, but well worth doing. As I said, I only wanted about six plants, and they'll do fine. But plants that size, I won't put outside on that bench just yet. They're way too small. And if you're moving any of your plants outside and putting them on benches, like your brassicas, because your brassicas don't do too well if you leave them in a greenhouse, they get too hot and they'll wilt and start to flop over really quickly. But if you do put them outside and they're very small seedlings, make sure you cover them with a net. And it's not the cabbage wire that we're concerned about at this time of year, although I have seen a couple. It's pigeons, because pigeons love brassica seedlings and they'll completely destroy them in no time. So just for the sake of chucking a piece of netting over top or all your plants outside that's on benches, that's going to save you a lot of hardship later on. So by doing what we've done today, we basically now feel like we're turning a corner. 
It's been a terrible autumn and winter in UK. Dark, miserable, really cold. But now we're starting to take plants from indoors and bringing them outdoors. We're taking the plants that's in the greenhouses and now we're putting them outside on benches, making room for sowing more tender plants and growing those on, ready to be planted out in mid-May. So if you've got any plants indoors at the moment, start bringing them out just for a couple of hours a day to get them used to these conditions and make sure everything that you've got that looks like it could be potted on get it potted on clear yourself some space because in may we're going to be sowing a lot more seeds and doing a lot more planting thank you very much to everybody that's supporting this channel i could not appreciate it more and if you're new to the channel and you've not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell because we're only a few days away from May and May is probably going to be the biggest month that year. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.